Welcome to Space Time with Dave. I am Dave, and I have for you today another thrilling tutorial, this time on uh, fixing coma. So take a look at this ugly coma in my, um, my new image of the Orion Nebula, which I'm uh, quite pleased with aside from, from the coma. Um, the short of it is I have a couple of uh, different adapters for my camera to mount to the telescope, and I was sort of uh, hastily setting up and grabbed the uh, kind of shittier one. And so I have some kind of ugly coma up here. And, I, you know, I guess if you didn't know what to look for, that might not bother you, but uh, it bothers me, and so I've got a cool way to fix it in Photoshop. And um, so credit to this tutorial goes to uh, the uh, the lonely spec and so I'm gonna link to this tutorial to this video um, but the reason I'm doing another video is because I'm uh, modifying it slightly they were they were doing a uh, a wide field image and this is a you know a deep space image and the stars are larger and, and so kind of have, um, tweaking it a little bit so um, what you're going to do is we're going to define a brush preset, and it's really tedious, but we're going to fix each one of these stars individually. So, uh, so what I need to do is make a new document, and we're going to make it 500 pixels by 500 pixels, and hit OK. And OK, so now what we need to do is we need a circle. And... So I just kind of, if you hold shift and alt, it'll, um, you know, make it from the center. And that's a little bit big, so I can shrink it up a tad, something like, something like that. It's okay, it's not very critical. And um, I need to blur the edges, so I'm going to do filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And it asks if I want to rasterize, and that's fine. And so the amount of bur uh, blurring here, um, uh, you may need to come back and, and play with this. It's going to depend on your image. It's going to depend on what the background looks like and what your uh, what you um, you know what works for your image. So for me, somewhere around like 15 or 16 um, worked okay. I might come back and tweak this, um, but that's good. Okay, now I'm going to switch colors and do a white center circle. So if I hold Shift Alt, okay, and um, so the size and the amount of blurring on this circle also is going to um, change, and you'll kind of see where I'm going with this in a minute. This may not look like it makes a lot of sense yet, but just bear with. Another Gaussian blur, okay. And this one, I am going to want a little bit more blurring, probably around 20 to around there. So what you are aiming for here is to, to get this light fall off, this sort of rate of, you know, of, of white to gray, that, that gradient. You want that to sort of mimic the point spread function of your stars in your image. And if you aren't familiar with what the point spread function is, um, uh, it's definitely something uh, worth looking into, worth reading into, if you're interested in uh, astrophotography and you know why stars have the the shapes that they do. And so you you don't need to understand the um, the integral calculus here, <laughs> but um, but the point of it is um, this rate of fall off is what we're trying to mimic. And everyone's optics, everyone's camera is going to be a little bit different, so you're going to have to play with this. But for me right now, I'm going to go with that. And, okay, so this is going to be in my brush preset. So I go edit, uh, define brush preset. And I'm going to call this coma corrector. And I think I've made like eight of these already, or seven. So this will be number seven. <laughs> okay, now I come back to my image. And I'm going to zoom in uh, and find some, find some ugly stars. So this one is quite ugly. So I'm going to use a clone stamp tool, and for my brush here, I'm going to scroll down and you see I've already defined a bunch of these, so it's going to be the last one. And um, uh, actually, I need to I'm going to duplicate the layer. And so now I can see the brush is way too big, so I'm just going to use the um, 
open and close bracket keys to um, to resize. So um, the size of the center circle here, I want to to size um, sort of for the nucleus of the star for the for the center there, and so I want that. Remember that fall off, that white fall off. You know, this is sort of like our our star. So somewhere around that size is probably going to work. So I'm going to Alt click to define um, a background source, and now you can see as I roll over here, look at what that's doing to the star. So um, I'm going to kind of favor this edge, and you can see as I do that, now I kind of get a smooth fall off in all directions so it's still not quite perfect as you can see that the nucleus isn't quite round um, but uh, overall we have a much better if I control Z to undo um, uh, look at that there we have an ugly star and now we have a round star ugly round ugly round so um, uh, the overall scheme of things is a lot of work um, but it, it will be worthwhile. So, um, uh, so it's just a matter of. So now you can see this star is a little, maybe a little smaller, a little dimmer. So I'm going to reduce the size of my brush and click over here and like that, much better. So now here's a bigger, brighter one. So I need to increase the size of the brush and so. Let's define a dark spot. And you can kind of change the size of the brush to see what it's doing to the star. If I go too small, now that doesn't look natural. Notice I have an ugly, an ugly ring here. So I don't want to do that. The star is overexposed, which is why it looks white, and the other ones have the uh, orange color. Um, so I'm just going to try to find a size that, like right there, that works pretty good. So that's better. And now I could even I could even do it again, um, make it a little smaller. And now look how round it is. So that's before and that's after. Um, so that looks pretty good. And I'm just going to keep working on these around here. And I'm not going to um, show all of this. Now this one, uh, you can see, kind of left a dark. Uh, ring around the edge. I don't really like that. So what I can do is um, I could come in here and I could change the size. Maybe I need a little bit larger uh, dark circle so that maybe I'll make that a little bigger. Um, maybe, not, maybe like that. And maybe it needs a little bit more blurring so I can go blur. Um, Maybe, maybe something like that. Okay. And now I feel like maybe that one needs to be a little bit smaller. So, okay there. And I can define. And you can just make as many of these uh, brush presets as you want. I'll just call this like 10. And back over here. Clone stamp tool and my brush preset. Uh, okay, so that one kind of uh, didn't work too well because it, notice it clipped the edges. Um, so, um, yeah, I guess you have to be careful about the size of this. Uh, yeah, you can see I'm, I'm kind of clipping the edges there. So, um, I won't do that. I'll just stick with my other brush for now. But you can see how you can, uh, the point is how you can um, customize this brush to work for your your image and so click and go there um, this one's kind of small so I'll go really small and like that and you can see how it takes time but you just you know be patient get yourself a beer or two and uh, and go through this and make your image look much better I have already done that and so I'll show you this is my uh, finished version I spent several hours on this I kinda just left it open and 
walked away from it and would come back and click a few stars here and there. And um, so you can see how, how improved this is. There's still a little bit, and I could work on it more, um, but I try not to over-process things, and I'm not going to be able to eliminate all the coma, so I just kind of want to make it look better. And so that's before and after, so uh, a big improvement. Um, now some areas where this is not going to work so well is in here where there's this nebulosity where you have such um, you know varying color gradients in the background. So I didn't even bother trying on, on these stars. And um, so um, you know this is just an improvement. It's not a, it's not a, a, a cure-all, a fix-all. Um, but it was worthwhile uh, to the overall image, I think. Um, so um, that's pretty much it. Uh, you'll just have to take your time, and you'll see where you have um, uh, issues. When you have like a nice, solid, dark background, it works really well. And uh, where it doesn't work well is when you have um, you know, strong gradients in the background, like against... Uh, nebulosity. So fortunately for me in this image, most of my uh, coma is in the corners where there is no or very little um, nebulosity. Um, but uh, so there you go. So uh, hopefully that tutorial was helpful for you. Um, if you liked it, uh, leave me a comment and um, subscribe and I'm going to have hopefully a lot more tutorials uh, for you very shortly. So thanks so much. And you guys just have a rockin' day.